Hi, it's Bart from Recruit.com. This movie is one of our videos about deploying trial environment for IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management. This part is about installing software. I hope you will enjoy it. So when you have 7-zip, Notepad++ and IBM Installation Manager installed, you can start downloading and installing IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management repository. So if you want to get the binaries, what you can go, what you can do, you can go to IBM Passport Advantage, or you can go to IBM to, to Jazz.net website, uh, but you need to have registered account there, which is of course free of charge. Mm, and after you will have the account, uh, you just can just go to the download page. And on the download page, you can just select the product uh, which you want to download and install. And of course, you can just go to the products to select doors next, workflow management, which is X IBM Rational Team Concert, um, test management, which is which which was IBM Rational Quality Manager, Rhapsody Model Manager, uh, Engineering Insights, or Method Composer. Uh, of course, what we will do, we will install uh, most of those products. We will install Doors Next, Workflow Management, Test Management, um, and we will install them together as a package. So I will just select that I want to install IBM uh, Engineering Lifecycle Management. But of course, if you will select any of those files, those files, those links are taking you to exactly the same installers. So if you, even if you will download the repository for doors next or workflow management or test management, you will still have ability to install other, other tools. But what I will do, I will just click engineering lifecycle management. After selecting what I want to download, uh, I see all the available versions. And right now I see that the latest available release is the version 7.0. And this version we will, we will install. Mm, of course, when you will do your own deployment, the other version can be, can be available. Uh, so, uh, so, so I assume that, for example, you will install 7.2, 7.1, uh, but the process should be exactly the same. I will just click on the 7.0 and uh, I will go to the tab, which is called all downloads. And if you will go to the tab called All Downloads, you should scroll down. Uh, of course, you can select uh, Web Installer, uh, but I prefer to do it through IBM Installation Manager repositories uh, because not always on the server where you will install your files, you will have access to the to the internet. So I prefer to download the whole the whole installation repository, which will contains which will contain all the files then downloading a web web installer so uh, you should just select the first option from the top which is just uh, team server uh, change configuration management quality management requirements management and so on and you can just click this option of course you can ignore authorization server and other options because what we are doing we are installing Mm, trial environment, training environment, evaluation environment. We do not do during those movies. Um, we do not install, we do not install production, production environment. So what you should do, you should accept the license and you, you should click download. After you will click download, the whole download process will, will, uh, will start. Uh, of course, what we will, what I did before this call, before this recording, I already downloaded this installation, uh, this repository. Um, so uh, to save time. So what I will do right now, I will just the right click on this file and I will unarchive it using 7, 7 zip. As I have said in the previous previous movie in this series, uh, IBM is recommending 7 zip because it is handling better the long file names. Uh, after I uh, unarchived the, the repository, uh, then now I need to start installation manager. Of course, if you don't see it, it maybe it was not indexed yet by Windows, but you need to find installation manager. 
and you need you should start it as an administrator if you want to do the installation. The installation manager will be open and what is important in the installation manager we need to show installation manager where this repository is so i will just click file preferences and i will just add this repository so i will click add repository and i will just show where my repository is so i have the files under downloads jts ccm and here is a file which is called repository.config and i will just add this file i will just click ok apply and you see the connection is correct i will click ok and right now i am ready to start the installation so i will just click install and i see all the available um, applications which uh, which which will be which will be installed I am installing everything on the one machine because it is only for education purposes, for trial purposes. Uh, when you will do production environment, the process is more complicated. And of course, IBM is recommending to install such a production environment not using one server. You should have at least two servers one for applications or second one for the reporting and of course i do not mention about the database server uh, the reasonable minimum to start working with those tools is between two uh, is between three and four servers including the data database database server so what i will install today i will install global configuration management uh, i will install doors next generation test management, workflow management, reporting, just team server, link index provider, and some trial, trial keys. Uh, what I want install uh, is um, uh, IBM engineering uh, wraps the model manager and I want install um, uh, IBM engineering lifecycle uh, optimization, uh, in engineering insights. Um, the options which I have selected is like a basic basic package um, with which you will usually start, um, you know, your journey with IBM engineering lifecycle uh, management. Of course, if you are interested in Rhapsody, you can install IBM IBM Rhapsody model manager as well. Then I click next. And of course, I am asked about license term and agreement. I will change a little bit path where I will install all those files. So I will just install everything under CIBM. And the same, I will install the application itself under C. IBM and of course I select 64 64 bit architecture for that and then I can click next I can select the languages I want to install I select only English next and right now I am it is we are confirming again what exactly will be will be installed um, in the reporting section, if you don't want to install data collection component uh, for data warehouse, you can unselect it or you can answer deselect, uh, deselect, sorry, deselect a lifecycle, 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 um, lifecycle query engine. Then we are clicking next. We select that WebSphere application server Liberty profile will be uh, installed together together with our applications. This is default default option, so we don't have to change anything. We click next. Uh, we don't want to change the context uh, after the URL to our application, which will be used for those applications. We'll use, use just the, the default values. But of course, if you want, you can always change it. Uh, we are not using IBM authorization server, so we will keep um, we will keep uh, just security architecture SSO disabled for for this time. Uh, but if you are interested in 
um, SSO, single sign-on, or integrating your um, your uh, your Jess, Jess or IBM engineering solution together with SAML, um, you should you should read a little bit more about about uh, authorization server and uh, what capabilities it gives you uh, when you will install it as as well. So I will just click next. And you see that we are ready to install, so we can just click install button. Of course, the whole installation process can take uh, can take a couple minutes, and I will just let the installation process finish. After a couple minutes, the installation should be ready, and you are ready to go with, to start with the configuration of the platform. Thank you for watching this video. If you are more interested in our services, trainings or offerings, please visit our website regpro.com. Thank you.